Second step is how to hike past the kettlebell. It's very similar to taking a football and throwing it hard through your legs. What you want to do is you want to throw your wrist hard at your own zipper, hard at your own junk. Just remember, this is your own, your own private space here. You want to get intimate and friendly with yourself. You want to throw your wrists hard at your, hard at your zipper and keeping your eyes forward. So I know you sort of already know how to do it. Why don't you go ahead and hinge back, tilt the bell, throw it, and then park it. Go for it. Good. Stand up. Simple as that. So that's one. Now I'm going to ask him to do two. And what I'm trying to look for, I'm looking for, is making sure he doesn't swerve, rotate up and down, back and forth. Do two hike passes for us, Mark. That's one. That's two. Good. Put it down on his ass. Stand up. So you notice I'm not talking about breathing yet. I usually like to get you through your first couple steps. Is this you're just, if you're just learning how to swing as a beginner, just learn the motions first because the breathing is simple but complex. Simple to learn, complex to master, but it's basically breathe in on the backstroke, breathe out as it goes forward. But work these first few progressions first and add the breathing later. So show it to me one more time. Show me three hike passes and then park the bell. You want to try to park the bell exactly where you started from. Here he knows how to do it. So he's parking right on that tilted angle. You want to try to keep your eyes forward. Good. Stand up and rest. All right. So that's the third step. That's how you uh, hike pass or throw the bell through your legs. 